Indirect objects. Indirect objects are much less common than direct objects. If you've watched our direct objects video, you'll remember that the direct object is the personal thing that receives the action from the subject. If you haven't seen the video and you'd like to, check the link in the video description. Let's take this sentence as an example. To find the direct object, we first find the subject, Rosie, and then the verb, passed. Then we ask, Rosie passed what? Rosie passed the ball. The direct object is the ball. The direct object receives the action from the subject. So what is an indirect object? An indirect object is the personal thing that receives the direct object. This means that for a sentence to have an indirect object, it must have a direct object. Let's go back to this sentence. Rosie passed the ball. The direct object is the ball. Who or what is receiving the ball? Nothing is. So in this sentence, there is no indirect object. Let's add an indirect object. Rosie passed him the ball. Can you see who is receiving the direct object? The indirect object here is him. Or Rosie passed Claire the ball. The indirect object here is Claire. To find the indirect object in a sentence, find the direct object and then work out where it's going by asking to whom, for whom, or for what. This will be the indirect object. Let's see if we can identify the indirect object and the direct object in the following sentences. The teacher handed the students the test. Here is the subject and verb. What's receiving the action? The students or the test? In other words, is it the students or the tests that are being handed out? It's the test that's receiving the action. The direct object is the test. To find the indirect object, we need to work out where the direct object is going. We can ask, to whom? The tests are going to the students. The indirect object is the students. Peter asked his mother a question. Here is the subject, and the action is asked. To find the direct object, let's ask, Peter asked what? A question. The direct object is a question. Where is the direct object, the question, going? To whom? To his mother. The indirect object is his mother. Now it's your turn to have a go. Read the following sentences and identify the indirect object in each. Remember, start by finding the direct object and then work out where the direct object is going by asking yourself to whom, for whom, or for what. Pause here while you work. Number one, the direct object is a lullaby because this is receiving the action, which is saying. Who or what is receiving the direct object? Them. The indirect object is them. Number two. The action is bought. What is receiving this action? A book. This is the direct object. Who or what is receiving the direct object? Her. The indirect object is her. Number three. The verb is built. The treehouse is receiving this action, which makes it the direct object. The children receive the direct object. This means the children is the indirect object. Number four. What was given? A fright. This is the direct object. Who received the fright? Karen. The indirect object is Karen. Last one. Natalie tells what? Silly stories. Silly stories is the direct object. Who receives them? Her nephew. Her nephew is the indirect object. 
Notice that if a sentence has both a direct object and an indirect object, the indirect object is placed first. Sometimes it can look as though the indirect object comes after the direct object. For example, she wrote a letter to her friend. The direct object is a letter. And if we ask ourselves, to whom, it seems as though the indirect object must be her friend. However, her friend is not an indirect object, even though it is receiving the action. In this example, her friend is the object of a preposition. To her friend is a prepositional phrase, because it begins with a preposition, to. Prepositional phrases are not indirect objects, although they serve the same purpose. Here are a couple more examples. Clara cooked some fish for them. He wrote a letter to the principal. If we wanted, we could rewrite each sentence in such a way that turns the object of a preposition into an indirect object. Clara cooked them some fish. He wrote the principal a letter. easyteaching.net